part five to what if Deku had Nen, I think. So we just did the uh, sports festival. Now we're on to the hero killer. So instead of Deku going to Grand Torino like usual, because he had one for all, he just got it. And he also has to keep up his training with Jin. So he doesn't go to uh, Gran Torino. He goes to Jin. Uh, let's say uh, that Aizawa had gotten the thing late and had given it to Deku. Deku had already gone through all of them. He's about to decide who he got and then he sees Jin from Aizawa. So Deku goes to Jing. Let's say Baku goes mad because he sees that Deku is going with the number one hero. And he... Let's say Baku still looks up to All Might. But he thinks that Jing somehow cheated to get to number one place. Because he got there in such little time. So Deku goes over to Jing. He already knows about One for All. And let's say All Might's there in a skinny form. Just to give Deku pointers on how to use it. So, Jing notices, Deku didn't really notice, but Jing noticed that after Deku uh, got one for all, his aura almost doubled or got up to a year's worth of training. Like, that's how strong his aura is now. So, he's basically double his strength. So, they're training. All Might finally asks the question of what is the ability they use because they look like they use the same abilities. What is their quirks? And he asks if they are father and son. Jinx says no, he is not Deku's father. But he is a father. He does have his own son. And right now, his son is probably exploring the world with his friends. Or exploring the world and making new friends. And he, sa and he says, uh, Deku, I saw Deku, or he says Midoriya, not Deku, I'm just going to keep calling him Deku though. He saw Midoriya, I'm just going to say it. He saw Midoriya and he uh, wanted to ask him questions about this world. He explains to All Might that he's not from this world. He's from another world, and he was sucked into a portal that transported him here. In his world, there are, mag there are these weird creatures and people who either have strange abilities, usually have Nen. Hunters are the most likely people to have Nen, but there are criminals that have Nen as well. He just explains the Hunter Hunter world to him. Then he says, I trained for years to get this strong, and... Uh, he saw Deku and just, I decided to train him since he was about to go out to help uh, that Bakugo boy, even though he didn't have any power. But I went, I stepped in before he could. And blah, blah, blah. He tells the story. Uh, okay, then they start training Deku. All my ass, or tells Deku to try and use the smash. He throws a 100% uh, punch. Let's say it doesn't break his arm, but it does leave his arm a bit numb, but it wears off in a couple minutes. Another reason his arm didn't break is because his bones... Ooh, sorry. His bones are two times stronger than in canon. Because... Of the iron bone training he did. And. All I noticed he did a full power smash. Didn't have much recoil. And he already knows Deku is strong. But he thought he was only strong because of his name. But he's physically strong as well. So. He starts telling Deku to let it flow throughout his body. He's not having good. Uh, any good well. Uh, practice with it. Then Jing says, uh, let it flow throughout your body like your Nen flows through your body. Use it like your Nen. Just let it go through your body. And then Deku immediately gets it. 
main reason being is Jin Deku, his Nen, is already going throughout his body and all over his body, so he was able to do that. Man. My brother came outside for no reason. So, they're training. Deku uses it. And since uh, one falls an enhancer, I'll say it enhances his Nen quite a bit, depending on his percentage. He's able to use one either 100% or 1%. One for all, but he's not very good at controlling the percentage of it. So they mostly focus on that. Deku also tells Jing and All Might that he's worried for Ida because how Ida's brother was attacked by the hero killer and he thinks Ida might be out for revenge. And he says, Where do you think Ida is? He says, Hosu City because he did research, research on the um. He did research on the hero killer. He usually attacks two or three victims in a city and then leaves. His last victim was in Genium, and he's in Hosu City. So they go there. They see the Nomus attacking. Jing and Deku all might punches one of them in the head to try and kill it. The shock, shock absorption takes some of the force, but it's enough damage to temporarily give all might the time to crush its brain. Jing and Deku use their Nin to cut them in half. So, now we have Deku who's looking for Ida. He's mostly searching for Ida's aura. So everyone, like I said, in this has aura. Just not a lot of it. He's searching for it. He finds it. He goes over and he sees Stain about to kill Ida. Deku runs. Let's say he has some control over it. He's either able to use 100%, 1%, 50%, or 25%. Those are the only percents he's able to do. So he uses about 25% for cowling and runs at, uh, and runs at, uh, stain. He gets to stain. He hits Stain. It's enough to send Stain through, almost, uh, to leave a crater in the wall where Stain is. It immediately knocks Stain out. Because Deku's already super strong, and then he also hit him with a full cowling smash, basically, from point-blank range, which did a lot of damage. And he helps Ida. He sorta heals the wounds. He's not very able to heal them. He just increases the process of which they heal. Because he's not very good at healing. He's only able to, like... I don't know how to explain it. He's just... He's able to do it somewhat, but not a lot. So he just stops the bleeding. That's it. They leave. Uh, let's say... Let's say... Since... Jing is... The one Deku has an internship with. Jing would get the credit. But they're gonna say All Might was also there with Jing because he wanted and he was uh, talking with Jing and talking with Young Midori about how they train and all that. So they just say that they were all three of them were there and those two got the credit for it. Endeavor was never needed. So now I we go to the. Uh, Final test, I believe. I checked what order the arcs are in, but I just have very, very bad memory. So I believe it's the final test. They all do. They do about the same. Deku do is probably a little bit better for the. What is it? He does a little bit better in the. Um. Writing test, basically. And then it's the battle test. It's the same teams. Bakugo, as usual, doesn't want to work with Deku. Still thinks he's stronger than Deku. He thinks that Deku's cheating. And he thinks that that Jing person, the, noble, the new number one hero, is also cheating. That's how he got the number one spot. He says that he's going to fight All Might by himself and prove that he will be the real number one hero. Next, uh... It goes about the same in the anime. 
except Deku is doing way better in this. Everyone sees how much Deku has improved in just a short amount of time. They all know he he already trained a lot to get as strong as he was, and it must have trained even more. He's using he's using Nin enhanced body with also uh, one for all. I'd say by this point he's gotten a bit more control over it. He and All Might are using about fifty percent of the strength. Deku has slight edge, because I don't know how much one for all increases its power each time it's passed down. So we have that happening. Uh, Deku is slightly winning. Then All Might goes for strong smash against Deku, which sends him flying. Uh, he goes into a couple buildings. He eventually gets out to see Bakugo uh, unconscious. So he knows it's now or never. If he wants to win, he has to eat All Might. Then he tells All Might that uh, he's going to go all out. So All Might should as well. And All Might already knows how powerful Deku is. He, th he already thinks that since he has one for all, he's able to use 100% of it, which is already makes him stronger than him. But he also has Nen, both enhancement abilities. And then he has enhancement with his Nen. His Nen already enhances his body, but then he has enhancement with it enhances it more. So we have uh, Deku using that. He is keep him up with All Might, and All Might's having a bit trouble, and then Deku starts using his chains to start being unpredictable. So yeah, he's a, he's a bit unpredictable with this. So, he eventually ties All Might up long enough for All Might when he tries to use one fold to move, he can't because it cancels all his quirks. And then he puts the cuffs on All Might, which he wins. I'm I'm going to leave it off for now. Bye.